My name is Lenny Basson. I'm the operations manager for Asner Iron and Metal Company in the greater Kansas City, Kansas area. Uh, this is a scrapyard that's been here for in excess of 110 years. This facility here that we're looking at is where we do all of our processing. We are currently on our second edition of the Olympus gun. I believe this one is two years old. We had the previous model for about four to five years. It was still operational, the first gun. The only reason we changed was the newer model had an enhancement of a library. They have a fantastic service department. We've had to send it in under warranty before. We get a loaner gun, so we're not dead in the water. Without the gun, I'm not going to say the operations would cease, but we put a lot off to the side until we get that gun back. The gun is imperative to this operation. The gun takes all the question out of it. At the beginning of the day, we start to receive product in and we get everything in from pallets to banded material such as this. We'll take the analyzer, we'll just do a quick test on the material. After it runs its first scan, we realize that what the material is shot, I will identify it with a magic marker so we can segregate it as we go through the pallet. Sometimes we'll receive plastic containers of material in of smaller items. A lot of times people can miscrew this for like a casting, but upon closer verification by the Delta analyzer, this is an extruded. So if we bought it for a cast alloy, we can definitely upgrade it for maybe one and a half times the price for a extruded alloy. Here's another piece of some thick aluminum. The gun shows that this is 6061 exact. So you sort of have a checks and balances within the analyzer itself. Looking at something like this that's been cut, I would have thought it's initially maybe a yellow brass alloy, and it's coming up with an alloy of C220, which is a bronze, which means it's better than a yellow brass. Yellow brass is going to be 65%. This reflected 84%, which this can go to a red brass, consequently reaping a better reward for it. These look like some type of an organ pipe that has some type of an annealment on it. So as the gun is tracking, it says no grade, but yet it shows the chemical breakdown, the second line item, SN, which is tin, has got a very, very high content, almost 44%, the analyzer is saying. So this would be an item that would be practical for us to segregate. We'll size it, we'll package it in a Gaylord, and we'll send this as a high tin content, again, to reap the rewards. I've been in the scrap business for quite a long time. It used to be the tool of the trade was the magnet, which is still a reliable instrument. But this is what we base everything on, pretty much. I feel fully comfortable referencing this, that it is a positive resource to have in the day-to-day -day business.